welcome back to my channel, it's Jotna here. So as you can already tell from the intro, today's video is going to be about weird back to school life hacks. I seriously can't even believe that summer is coming to an end and the school year is right around the corner. But before you curl up into a ball and you cry your eyes out, <laughs> That's what I've been doing this entire time. I present to you the most amazing, weird back to school life hacks that will make your life so much easier. Make sure to keep leaving your video requests below because you guys are really good at it and it helps me out with video ideas. So make sure to keep leaving them below. If you enjoy watching this video, I would really appreciate if you leave a thumbs up. And also you guys, make sure that you watch this video till the very end because I'm gonna be doing a giveaway at the end of the video. So make sure that you stay so that you can participate. So yeah guys, I think it's about that time. Let's move on with the video. Okay guys, so for the first DIY, I'm going to show you how to make your very own notebook pocket. First, draw a rectangle of any size to fit what you want and make a crisscross pattern. Next, outline it with a dark, bold color so it's easy to see. And then slide the sheet under glass and rub some Vaseline on top to prep for, you know it, hot glue. So just follow the template and make sure that the glue is thick so that your notebook pocket is durable and long lasting. Then add your own twist to it and color it using nail polish. After letting the polish dry for about 30 minutes, you can grab any notebook like this one and glue it to the front cover. I use hot glue for the sake of the video, but it's best to use a stronger glue like all-purpose glue. So yeah, this is the end result. This pocket is perfect for your go-to class supplies. It's so convenient because your stuff will be within reach in just seconds and you'll always be a step ahead and ready for class. You know you are the reason. The reason why I feel like I can fly. The second DIY is how to make your very own customized quote pencils. So start off by typing any quote or statement you like and make sure to make them bold. It just looks way better on the pencil. And of course, print it out. Next, grab some scotch tape and place a piece that is long enough to cover the quote and then rub an eraser over the tape. This is going to help transfer the ink onto the tape. My favorite part, slowly and carefully peel the tape off and the ink should transfer like magic. Finally, wrap the tape around the edge of a pencil and that's it. Oh, and make sure to smooth the tape out to get rid of any air bubbles. The less air bubbles, the better it looks. So yeah, just repeat to make as many pencils as you want. These are so cool because you can customize it to say whatever you'd like and it only takes a few seconds and it's mess free. Next DIY is how to make your very own pop socket out of a nail polish cap. I know it sounds kind of nuts, but it's actually pretty cool. So search for a cool looking bottle cap, preferably something that's rectangular shaped and of course a polish that you no longer use. So first things first, pull out the nail polish brush, then get to decorating. This part is completely up to you. I personally use 3D puffy paint to decorate it and make some polka dots. So this is how mine came out and I also made this one. You can make different looking ones for different occasions. So when you're done, squeeze some crazy glue to the bottom of the cap and place it on the back of your phone case. And voila, it's your very own pop socket in just a few minutes. These are a super cool upgrade for your cell phone this school year. So yeah, instead you could totally make your own. Next DIY is how to make a scissor cap. Scissors can be pretty dangerous because we can hurt ourselves with the blades when we're not paying attention. Plus some schools even have some rules about it. So this is a way to make it a little safer. Carefully apply Vaseline to a scissor. And if you're under 18, please have your parent do this. Otherwise, please, please be careful. So yeah, whip out your glue gun and squeeze it onto the blades. Make any pattern you like, just make sure that the glue is thick. The thicker the cap, the stronger it'll be so that it's reusable. So this is what it looks like and it's now time to add some personal touches. Brush the cap with nail polish to add style. Once it's completely dry, you can finally put your scissor cap to use. It's too perfect because it fits like a glove and the thick glue feels gummy so you won't hurt yourself when grabbing them out of your bag. Next hack is how to make a super secret compartment out of highlighters. 
because you know there's some things that we want to keep private at school so just grab any highlighters you don't use anymore and pull out the plug from the bottom of the highlighter using tweezers pull out the inky sponge and tip from the highlighter and you can stick your tampons in there money or anything that you want to keep safe and secret it's the perfect hiding spot for anything portable just make sure to place these in the back pocket of your backpack and you're good to go so last DIY slash hack is how to make a laptop stand using a binder. So open the binder and squeeze some glue on the edges. Squeeze down so that it stays closed and still. On the other side, squeeze thick waves. This is what will give the binder grip to hold the laptop in place. Finally, just place your laptop on the binder and you'll see that it's tilted at an angle. This will help improve your neck, back, and overall posture as well as typing form. It's an easy way to adjust the tilt for better viewing angle. It's perfect for those really long homework nights. So that was it for today you guys. Thank you so much for watching and please let me know which hack was your favorite out of all of them. So I am going to be giving away this $50 Amazon card. $50 Amazon gift card. I love Amazon you guys. I'm obsessed so I hope that you guys like it as well. There's so many school supplies. There's just everything on Amazon so hopefully you guys find a lot of use for this. So all you have to do to enter this giveaway is that you have to thumbs up this video and then you also have to comment below telling me what your goal is this school year. Whatever it is. It could be that you want to get straight A's. It could be that you want to meet new friends whatever your goal is this new year just comment down below and that's all you have to do to enter my giveaway so again all you have to do is thumbs up this video and you also have to comment down below telling me what your goals are this school year and that's all you have to do to enter my giveaway follow me on instagram because that's where i'm going to be announcing the winner on august 17th and i'm going to be picking the winner at random so make sure that you participate because i would love to win this and you never know you might just win and this will be really useful so yeah, you guys thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video